stupidity and uh, just bad management? Uh, it, it's someplace in between, Stuart. Uh, uh, a lot of the contracts on the Big Dig, which was sold to the federal government and the state government as a $2.3 billion project, uh, it's now ballooned to approximately $14.625 billion, and it's not going to cost any less uh, as we finish uh, the last 17 percent of this job. But what happens is the, the politicians try and move this thing forward so quickly uh, that the contracts go out and they're not totally designed. So it, what happens, it invites ch claims and changes and cost overruns because it's not fully designed. Contractors have to come back. They have to make changes. And unless someone is diligent and stringent about watching these cost overruns, uh, that's where everything uh, just uh, gets unglued. We try to, to challenge that. We try to take the whole issue of the, of the claims and changes away from the project because as of last year, they had paid over one and a half billion dollars in, in, in cost overruns to just contract modifications and changes. We try to take that away. Um, it, it caused quite a stir, uh, but we did get it away, and we brought it into the Mass Turnpike Authority. We gave it to our own lawyers. We set up an executive oversight committee, and we were getting wonderful results until we were fired. Uh, Mr. Mears, this is Bob Froelich. I, I think that uh, you know, with a project of the complexity of that size, obviously there are some things that you could never foresee. How much of the changes that have occurred that have caused that cost overrun were from things that no matter how diligent you were, you could have saw those coming forward versus some that just were government officials asleep at the switch, so to speak? Well, a, a lot of it happens, Bob, in that you try and please everybody so you please nobody, and, and that's where the cost overruns happen. A lot of it is... Uh, uh, they're, they're trying to get this thing done by uh, December 31st, uh, 2004. Uh, so uh, everybody is moving, uh, you know, a, a billion miles a minute here, and it's costing us billions of dollars because it's not well thought out, not well planned. And unfortunately, we have a great company uh, uh, running the project on a day-to-day on -day basis, Bechtel. Uh, we pay them three million dollars each and every week. Uh, it, in fact, their their uh, their uh, fees, uh, profit, overhead, and labor at the conclusion of this contract will be approximately $2.2 .2 billion, very close to what uh, this project was sold to you and the federal government and, and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts as $2.3 billion. So it's just that it's not, uh, unless you plan it well, unless you diligently dil stay on these cost overruns and these claims and changes, uh, the system just uh, eats you right up. We got 20 seconds. Can you tell me in 20 seconds whether or not, when this is all finally completed, it will indeed relieve the traffic congestion in Boston. I believe that, well, I love this project, but unfortunately, as someone once said, it would have been cheaper to raise the entire city of Boston than to depress the central lottery. <laughs> Thank you very much, Christy Mijas, Vice Chairman of the Massachusetts Transit Authority. Thanks for being with us, sir. About 20 minutes left to vote on the squawk back question of the day.